Introducing the Preston CPR Feedback App The Preston CPR Feedback App provides high-quality, real-time, advanced CPR feedback via a Bluetooth connection when combined with the Preston Professional Adult Series 2000 Mannequin. Advanced CPR feedback, which includes rate, depth, recoil, ventilation, and hands-off time, is monitored, easily displayed, and available for reporting, allowing students to self-monitor performance and gain confidence during CPR training. The Preston CPR Feedback app allows instructors to provide comprehensive CPR training while monitoring CPR performance for up to six students at a time. This app is also equipped with a reporting feature that allows for CPR training results to be shared, downloaded, or printed directly from the app. Downloading the Preston CPR Feedback app There are three simple ways to download the Preston CPR Feedback app. First, you can visit Preston.app to be automatically directed to the Preston CPR Feedback app in the App Store for your specific device. Second, you can go directly to the App Store on your smart device and search for Preston CPR Feedback. Lastly, you can use the QR code provided in this video or it can also be found in the instruction manual that came with your device. Preston CPR Feedback App Overview Guide The Preston CPR Feedback App is for instrumented directive feedback devices that meet the requirements of the latest American Heart Association and Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada CPR Feedback Guidelines. The Preston CPR Feedback App contains a number of tabs at the bottom of the screen that can be used to manage and control the device and the data. These include, the Training tab, the Link tab, the Data tab, and the Settings tab. The Training tab allows the instructor to monitor the training of up to six mannequins per device, in real time. The Link tab, will allow the instructor to connect to and manage all of your mannequins. The Data tab, allows for the access and review of any historical training data that has been completed, and captured using your smart device. The Settings tab allows for the managing and changing of the settings on the Preston CPR Feedback app. These settings include changing the language and the measurement units used for the specific region in which the training is being performed managing how the overall scores are to be calculated. Changing the CPR guidelines between the available options. Lastly, the instructor can choose how many cycles of CPR are to be completed during a simulated cardiac rescue scenario, before the app automatically ends the training, and saves the data. Preston CPR Feedback App Ventilation Calibration With your Preston Professional Series 2000 mannequin powered on, open the Preston CPR Feedback App on your smart device and select the link tab found at the bottom of the Preston CPR Feedback screen. Select Search Mannequin. A list of connected mannequins will appear. Select the desired mannequin from the list, ensure that a check mark appears next to the name of the selected mannequin. Select Connected Mannequins. And then select the chosen mannequin from the list. Tap Calibrate, in the row titled Calibration. Follow the directions on the screen to perform 5 deep breaths into the mannequin. Make sure that you are properly performing the head tilt procedure to open the airway of the mannequin so that the airway is unobstructed during this procedure. Ensure that the lung bag is inflating, and the chest rise is visible in the mannequin. Once five breaths are completed, the app page will automatically change and the app will ask you to verify that the sensor is calibrated properly. To verify, perform at least two ventilations, making sure that the black moving bar on the screen is reaching the green shaded area. Once satisfied that the ventilations are working properly, and you have sufficient visual chest rise, 
tap the save button to complete the calibration. Preston CPR Feedback App Assigning Mannequin Color and Number ID To assign your mannequin a color and number label, for easy identification during training, select the link tab found at the bottom of the Preston CPR Feedback screen. Select Search Mannequin A list of connected mannequins will appear. Select the desired mannequin from the list, ensure that a checkmark appears next to the name of the selected mannequin. Select Connected Mannequins and then select the chosen mannequin from the list. Tap the change button in the row titled Color ID. The mannequin will start beeping every 5 seconds. This will be an indication that you physically have the correct mannequin that has been selected on your app for this operation. Next, select the desired color and number labels from the Color ID sheet that was provided with your device. It is recommended that you place the labels on the back surface of the mannequin, near the battery compartment. Affix the labels to the mannequin. Now, turning back to your smart device, select the corresponding color on the Preston CPR Feedback app, by tapping on the appropriate color dot on the screen. Next, scroll through the number wheel on the app to select the corresponding number that has been assigned and affixed to the mannequin. Complete the process by selecting the Assign button on the bottom of the screen. Preston CPR Feedback app, renaming your mannequin. The Preston CPR Feedback app, gives you the ability to temporarily assign a student's name to the mannequin for a training session. Select the training tab at the bottom of the screen. Press CPR training. On the next screen, press connect kit. Select any mannequins to connect from the list that appears. Once connected, a check mark will appear on the line with the mannequin name. When all mannequins have been connected, press done at the top right corner of the screen. Next, Press and hold the name of the mannequin that is to be renamed. While still pressing on the name, slide your finger to the left until you see two buttons appear. Note that if you continue to slide your finger to the left, the rename button will disappear and only the disconnect button will show. Select rename. Type the new name with the keyboard that appears in the app. When complete, press rename. This new name will now appear on the list of mannequins. Please repeat this process for each mannequin that you wish to rename. Once all mannequins have been renamed, your training session can proceed. Please be aware that this new name is only a temporary name that has been assigned during this training session. This new name will appear as the mannequin name, and will also show on the data list and any reports that are generated. To clear the name from the mannequin, close the Preston CPR Feedback app, or restart this process for renaming the mannequin. Training with the Preston CPR Feedback app to start your CPR training session, first, ensure that a ventilation lung bag has been installed into your Preston Professional Adult Series 2000 mannequin, in accordance with your instruction manual, and is connected to the ventilation sensor, at the port provided, on the ventilation lung bag. On your smart device, make sure that the training tab at the bottom of the Preston CPR feedback app screen has been selected. The opening screen will show a button with the words, CPR training. Tap on this button to start connecting to your selected mannequins. On the next screen, select, Connect Kit. You will now see that your device is searching for any active Preston Adult Professional Series 2000 mannequins that are in your immediate vicinity. Once the list of mannequins appears, select the mannequins from this list that you wish to connect to. When the mannequin is connected, you will see a check mark appear on the line next to the selected mannequin. Once all the mannequins are connected, you can select your desired training method. The available selections are, hands only, which is the method where the students will perform compressions only. No ventilations. Or, conventional CPR, where the students will perform both compressions and ventilations in combination. The selected method will show on the face of the button. For instance, if you are wishing to train a conventional CPR method, the button will show the words, conventional CPR. You are now ready to start the training. Press the green start button at the bottom of the screen, and your students can now start practicing, and gaining confidence in their CPR skills. Preston CPR Feedback App Data Review The detailed data for each student in your training session is recorded, and stored, in the Preston CPR Feedback App. This data can be retrieved immediately, at the end of each training session, or it can be retrieved at a later time, 
for review and or documentation of the results. To retrieve the detailed data, select the data tab at the bottom of the screen. This will bring up a list of all the historical data that has been collected from your training sessions. The overall list shows the name of the mannequins, or in the case where you temporarily renamed the mannequin, it would show the student name instead. It will also show the date and time the data was collected, the guideline used in the training, and the overall score the student achieved in the training session. To review the detailed data for any of the individual students, select the mannequin by tapping on the name. This will open up a window where you can dive deeper into the details of the session, to see specifics on how well a student performed. At the top of the page, you will see the overall session details that will include, the name used for the mannequin, the date and time, the device used in the training, the guideline used, and the overall combined training score achieved in the session. Below this, there are two tabs, Summary, and Graph. The Summary tab will provide a general synopsis of the training session. This includes data from all the categories collected, including, compressions, ventilations, and hands-off time. Down the left-hand side of the screen, you will see each section has a category score. These category scores are combined, and are used to calculate the overall training score. Just to the right of the score column, is the average column. This column shows, the averages for all cycles completed within that individual training session. The subsequent columns, to the right of the average column, show the results for each cycle. First, is the compressions category. This data is broken down into, the rate, measured in compressions per minute, and the depth. The ratio below the depth shows the number of compressions. The numerator is the number of what is considered to be a good compression, in accordance with the applicable guidelines. The denominator, shows the total compressions that were performed within that specific cycle. Next is the ventilations category. In this category, you will notice the top number shows the maximum volume of any breaths performed in the cycle. The bottom number, will show the ratio of good breaths, over the total breaths performed within that specific cycle. Lastly, hands-off time, is the amount of time that has elapsed between when compressions were stopped for performing a ventilation cycle, and when compressions were restarted, after the ventilation cycle was complete. If more than two cycles were completed within a training session, the additional cycle data can be viewed by pressing anywhere within the table, and dragging your finger to the left, to reveal any additional cycles, and its respective data. Moving to the graph button. Once the graph button is pressed, the screen will change to show the detailed data that was recorded for the training session. At the top of the graph screen, is the summary of the training session. This includes, overall session score, date and time, training device used, number of cycles, and lastly, duration of the recorded training session. In the center section of the screen, you will find the detailed data of the entire session, shown in a simple graphical display. On the graph you can see the depth, and recoil measurements of each individual compression. There are lines to indicate the recoil limit, and the acceptable target range for compression depth. If you wish to see the entire duration on the training session, you can press on the graph, and drag your finger left or right, to scroll through the entire session. If you drag the graph to the left, you will see that ventilations are also shown on the graph, again with the acceptable target range clearly defined. Compressions or ventilations, that were deemed to be in the acceptable range in accordance with the guidelines for depth, recoil, or volume, will be indicated with the bar color being green. Anytime a deficiency is recorded, the bar on the graph will show up as yellow, and a small red triangle will show the correction needed. For instance, if a compression is too shallow, the compression bar will show up yellow, the length of the bar will be short of the acceptable target range, and a red triangle will be pointing downward, showing that the compression needed to be deeper. Ventilations will be handled in the same manner. Green bars, indicate good ventilation volume, whereas a deficient ventilation volume, will show up as a yellow bar. This yellow bar, will be either short of the acceptable target range, or past the target range, and a red triangle will be present, pointing in the direction of needed improvement. At the bottom of the screen, is the synopsis of the data collected for the specific cycle that is being shown in the visible window of the graph. This data includes, current cycle number, ratio of good compressions over the number of total compressions in the cycle, 
duration of the cycle, average rate of compressions, average volume of ventilations, and the hands-off time of the cycle. For more information on the Preston Professional Adult Series 2000 Mannequin, please reference the Instruction Sheet, Troubleshooting Guide, and Frequently Asked Questions, available on the Preston website at PrestonProducts.com.